0 for 3. He's the left fielder. Fly to right, line to right, and fly to left. Here's the 0 1 pitch. A little bit high with a breaking ball. 1 and 1. Malik Jones is 3 for 3. Two singles and a double. Scored three runs. He's on deck for the Bakersfield Roadrunners. 1 1 delivery. Outside corner, strike two called. Same pitch as the first pitch in the sequence. Deaton now down one ball and two strikes to Sean Hunter, the third pitcher for Oklahoma. Working quickly, he's into his windup. Swung on, line drive, base hit in the right field. Mendenhall went up, but ball was over his glove. So Deaton, sharp single to left, to right field uh, to open up here in the sixth inning. His first hit of the game. Malik Jones is three for three, scored three runs, has a stolen base and a double. Looking down at the for a third base coach, Bob Macaluso, to see if there's anything going on here play-wise. Oh, you're looking for a bunt. Third baseman Harris is now on the edge of the grass in front of third base, looking for the sacrifice. Jones, three for three. First pitch, he is squared to bunt, drops it foul. Bunts at it and fouls it off behind the plate. 0 and 1 to count. <coughs> Kate Harris still thinking bunt as he is in front of third base on the lip on the edge of the uh, cutout third base grass area. 0 and 1 count. Sean Hunter throws over to first base just a just a toss to let Deaton know that he knows about him over there. Jones again looks down at third base coach Bob Macaluso for a sign. He's already squaring the bunt. And the throw back over to first again. Now Cade Harris, the third baseman, is even in sh more shallow. So again, he shortens the bunt. Here comes the pitch. Bunted up the first baseline. First baseman finds where he feels it cleanly, flips this Mendenhall covering. Sacrifice is successful as Deaton runs into second base, putting second base the potential Number tying 13. run in the scoring position David with Metzger. one out here in the sixth. And the batter now will be David Metzgar. Metzger struck out in the first, but after that had a RBI triple in the third and then a single and scored in the fourth. 7 6 Oklahoma here in the sixth inning. Metzger. Trying to get that run in from third, from second to score the tying run. Good speed at second in Deaton. Ball in the dirt. Knocked down by the catcher. Dorenzo. Deaton took a couple steps toward third and thought better of it and raced back to second. 1-0 count here on David Metzger. Kind of a quiet crowd here today. Hunter into his stretch, here comes the pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the right. One ball, one strike now on David Metzger, the Bakersfield junior second baseman. Right-handed hitter against the left-handed pitching Sean Hunter. Hunter looking in for his sign. Taking a long look. He's got it now, he's into his stretch. Looks at second, Deaton off about 10, 12 feet. A bluff to get him back, but there's nobody covering. One and one count here on Metzger. Got a 10 foot lead there at second by Deaton. Here comes the pitch, high with a fastball, two balls and a strike. On deck is Max Carter, he's had a pretty good game. He's RBI singles in the first and third, drew a walk in the fourth. Two and one count here on Metzger. Sean Hunter, the left-handed reliever, third pitch of the game for the Sooners, is into a stretch. Looks at second. Three times, comes to the plate. High with the fastball, no, gots, gets the call. Borderline pitch, called a strike, even in the count of two balls and two strikes. Metzger looks down at third base coach Bob Macaluso and who's pretty much saying, hey, you're on your own, son. Two and two count here. Hunter's got his 
Motion, he's into his motion. Here comes the Delich. A little bit high with a fastball. Full count, three and two. Outfield playing, shading a little bit toward Wright's field. Wheeler, the center fielder, or Walker is my, I beg your pardon, is now a little bit, a couple of steps more toward right field than he was a moment ago. Full count here. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Strike three call of fastball. Locked up Metzger that time. That was a pretty good looking pitch. It was uh, the 2 0 pitch looked borderline. That one looked like it caught a big chunk of the plate. Frustrating for a hitter when you leave that, when you have a runner at scoring position and you aren't able to even get the ball in play. So now it's up to Carter. It looks like there's maybe another pitching change here. As the head coach and his head coach Pete Hughes signals to the umpire to bring in another reliever, probably bring a right-hander in. Hunter, the left-hander, didn't want to have him face the right-handed batting Carter. So Hunter jogs off. He just did a pretty good job there. And now we have a new pitcher, the fourth pitcher of the game for Oklahoma. Everybody's been playing this thing. Looks like it's number 38, which would be Austin Hansen. Six foot freshman right-hander out of Lenexa, Kansas. Austin Hunter. Now bound for Oklahoma, number 38, Austin Hansen. I should say Hansen, excuse me. Austin Hansen. A lot of Hansons have been in this series already. Both starting pitchers last night were named Hansen. Freshman right-hander. So far this season, Austin Hans Hansen has not given up an earned run, and this is his sixth appearance. For 11 and a third innings, given up 10 hits, six walks, 12 strikeouts. ERA at 0.00. One thing we've seen from this Sooner team here, the first three games of the series, pretty good bullpen. Bakersfield did get the first run of the year off of outstanding reliever J.B. Olsen earlier. That rose the DRA from 0 to 0 0.61. That's how good he's been. Wouldn't be a bit surprised to see him sometime today before this doubleheader's over. So Hansen now is done with his warm-ups. Uh, as Max Carter now works his way back toward the plate. Christian Deaton is at second base with two outs here in the sixth of a 7-6 lead for Oklahoma. Hansen looking in for the sign. Carter two for two with a walk already today. And the first pitch of the at bat is almost hits him. Everybody's giving him a bad time, but that was just a pitch that got away from Hansen. So now here comes the coach Bob Macaluso wondering if uh, doesn't like the idea that that pitch almost hit Max Carter in the head. I think that was just a pitch that got away from him. And I think that's what the umpire is saying. You know, hey, what do you want me to do? The pitch got away from the. <laughs> so, not an anger confrontation, just, uh, hey, what's the story here kind of thing. Want to know to Max Carter? We see if that unnerves him a little bit. That ball was up toward his head. Next pitch is high and inside, not quite as close to him this time, but still inside for a ball, 2-0 the count. Carter looking to try to knock in the tying run that's at second base, and Christian Deaton. Here's a 2-0 pitch. There's pitch a little bit low. It looked like that was a better pitch than the strike call earlier in, the, in this inning. 3-0 count with Max Carter. Cody White, the right-handed batting designated hitter, is on deck. 3-0 pitch, as if they turn Max Carter loose here. 
It's a fastball right down the middle, taking all the way, strike one, three and one count. So Carter, get back right back in the batter's box. Hansen, stretch, looks at second, twice. The pitch, another breaking ball. That was a close pitch, it called ball four. So Designated hitter. Carter Number walks, 47. second time in a row he's thrown a base on balls. That puts runners on first and second, and Cody White now, the designated hitter, comes to the plate. White today has hit into a fielder's choice, popped out and grounded out, 0 for 3. Coming into this game, uh, White was a 295 hitter, 13 hits and 44 at bats, five doubles, no home runs or triples, four runs batted in. Looking for number five here that would tie this game up. First pitch, swung on, line drive. Over the leaping second base of Mendenhall in the short right field. Here comes the tying run to third, and he's thrown out at third. Max Carter's out at third, but the run does count. As Deaton, Deaton didn't run real hard between third and home because he was going to score easily, but fortunately for the Roadrunners, he tagged home plate just a split second before Carter was tagged out going into third base. So the run does count, and we have tied the game up here. We have a tie game now at 7-7. Seven, seven. 